Ukrainian want to find chat helps Russian families find soldiers who were captured or killed. Almost two years into Russia's invasion, with Moscow's losses estimated by Kyiv at more than 400,000 soldiers, the Ukrainian authorities launched a project called Want to Find to help Russian citizens find information about their relatives who went to fight in Ukraine. According to ABC News, the launch came as a follow-up to the Want to Live project a hotline offering the Russian soldiers a way to surrender. Since that launch in September 2022, operators of the project received more than 32,260 Russian soldiers were admitted as prisoners of war, according to the organization. Some even joined the so-called Russian Volunteer Corps, which is fighting against Russian forces alongside the Ukrainian army. The number of requests soared in autumn 2022 during the announcement of a mobilization in Russia and successful Ukrainian counter-offensive in the Kharkiv region and Kherson, and in spring last year when the Ukrainian authorities were announcing the much-anticipated counter-offensive. That's when many Russians started to reach out to the Want to Live project in search of their relatives who went to war and never returned, according to Vitaly Matvienko, the spokesperson of the I Want to Live project. People, mostly women, called and asked whether we knew something about their husbands or sons, whether they were captured or killed, because the Russian authorities didn't provide them with any information, Matvienko told ABC News. Since last summer, they've got more than 3,000 such requests and decided to launch a separate Telegram bot for processing them. Through it, the customers provide all the data they have, names, photos, any distinguishing features the person has, like tattoos or scars. The operators on the Ukrainian side run this data through several databases and tell them whether the person is killed, captured, or there's no information at all.